shave. Did it. Well, yeah, are you not going to do the no shave? No? Okay. No. TexarkanaFYI.com, Hornhog Radio Podcasts and everything. Good morning, everybody. We're talking with Eddie Alds uh, from the Texarkana, Texas Parks and Recreation Department. Yes, sir. And this guy, Sean Vaughn. Because it's a big weekend. It's Halloween weekend. Yes, sir. We're, we're playing a big thing this weekend. It's, and it, it's just been getting bigger. It, it has. You know, it's kind of morphed. And, and it's a continual morph thing here, yeah. actually. Because, I mean, where we started, we walk up a bit. Um, coming in there, we had... We, we started this, and Eddie, we're like, man, if we have two or three hundred people, we'd be happy. Exactly. Right. You yeah, know, but that was a few years ago. That, that was three years ago. And that's when folks could actually get out and walk so, up. So here's what fascinated me about the uh, Spring, Lake, Spring Lake Park trunk or treat, is that last year, with everybody trying to make do and, and get just get through, we decided to make it drive-through only. Right. It just got bigger. Yeah, we had... <laughs> Um, we, we almost 500 cars come through. Last year. Um, you know, so we did full that. of kids, full of kids, and even had a lot that weren't even able to get in the park. And when we got to the, you know, the end, and we were like, man, we we're almost out of candy. And we got to shut it down. So we did that. So, but this year, because there were so many people wanting to get in, last year they weren't able to. We extended it another hour. So we're going three hours this year instead of two. So hopefully we're going to be looking, you know, seven, eight hundred people. Or what, seven are, cars this year. what are the hours out of Spring Lake Park? Four to seven. Four to seven right. on Saturday. On Saturday, this Saturday. Um, <laughs> to enter, are we coming in off of the I thirty access, just like yeah. last year? Yes. Same as last year. Come in off that. We'll by go, the dog park. Come in off mm -hmm. the access road and by the dog park. Go around um, that. What we we call the airplane. Little yeah, with plane. Remote, remote planes. They go out. Where we do the yard sale, and they'll go around and exit right back out the same way. Back out the same way, and then on up to state line, I guess. To, right. Okay. Well, that's that's easy enough, and I'll make sure to put a put something in the the comments down there. But uh, yep. this year, you've you've kind of planned ahead and got plenty of candy. Got plenty of candy. We've got more people signed up this year. We've, we've got over before. 30, 30 plus people signed up. That's, I, I know you can't call them all off, but but who are some of the folks participating? Well, I know that Southwest Center, some of the girls here are going to work. Of course, you know, the police department, police the department. fire department. Uh, uh, Just about all the city departments. Right. LE uh, Volunteer Fire Department. We got LEISD Police Department. We have um, oh, Exit Realty. And, and folks from the Arkansas side, too, oh, going yeah, over. Sides. It's, a, you know, both sides of the line. This is a... A citywide trunk or treat, but but you've been putting this together for a number of years now. Now we just came off the movies. Mm -hmm. What well, did you stick around for the town that dreaded sundown last night? Well, I had I I was I had to stay through the whole thing because I had to break it down afterwards. But yeah, it was we had a good crowd even with the wind. I, that's what I was thinking. It was windy. It was chilly, but I saw some pictures that looked like a really good turnout. Yeah, they we had I I'd say quite a few. It, it was it was really good other than the weather i think everybody enjoyed it yeah well good deal so um i guess this is like the last big shindig of the year for the parks department but with the city there's so much coming up with the holidays mm -hmm. um you know there's the christmas parade is back this year uh things are, are looking up right well, yeah you know due to the COVID and everything you know we kind of slowed everything down but with everything you know getting b better so, so far we're uh we're, we're gearing up for to go back to full swing well and that's what if things are getting better you know i guess folks are getting their vaccinations and then uh it, you know of course everybody's still um encouraging the social distancing and 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 whatnot nobody wants to be right piled up on each other and so i think this year is going to be drive through also. Yeah, we're doing drive through this year because like that first year we did the walk up, we had 2,500, 3,000 people come out. And, and it was so service. hard with, you know, because they were lined up and then mm -hmm. and waiting and it just, this yeah. just makes it, yeah, this makes just, it so much smoother and it, it just, it just works a lot easier. I think for us, I mean, I, there's, there's a lot of benefit, I think, to the walk up. Uh, I enjoy, I, I enjoyed the one last year we did with the drive through as well. Mm -hmm. um, but. You know, it, I, I'm looking forward to getting back to the walk-up. 
um, and hopefully next year we're going to be able to. Maybe. I got my fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll keep them, you know, everything's just getting better every day, and you guys keep working towards that, so. Um, trunk or treat, this is the big trunk or treat for Texarkana, big community-wide event uh, at Spring Lake Park. Again, the hours? From 4 to 7. 4 till 7 this Saturday. Um, load up the kids, ride through the park, entrance from the I-30 access road by the Swanger Field. Uh, Sullivan by the dog park, dog, yeah, dog dog park. park. Come, come in by the dog park and, and just follow around you'll see the cars and there the signs see. and we'll be directed all the vendors will be there so and have all the Halloween decorations up so that'll be a whole lot of fun and we've got I said we've got 30 people that are signed up but if somebody wants to come out and and join us and hand out candy you know bring the trunk and a little bit of candy or okay, maybe a lot of candy yeah a yeah, lot, lot of candy a lot of candy when and you think you listen come, from this and, and and then also the the thing they do downtown, you know, the the festival. Um, it, when you think you have enough candy, double it. That's right, yeah. the, uh, or in some cases, triple it. Yeah. <laughs> and we've had you know some businesses that weren't able to participate in the event itself that have donated some candy, uh, so we can supplement. If you get you get out there and you start running low, I mean, we've got some that we can share that, that has been donated. So, and, and everybody does that kind of yeah. back and forth. To, yeah, know, it's but, it's kind of like you got. Well, we still got a little bit. You know, it just kind of goes all over there. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, it, like, it's a, it's a great time. Yeah. You know, it really is. And, and it seems like the the slow movers lately are the tootsie rolls. I mean, is it like what, what's up with that? I don't know, but I don't think we got any tootsie rolls. I don't think we got. <laughs> you know, and the stuff that we've got done, it's the good stuff. Yeah, yeah full size bars. Oh no, well, not that time. Uh, <laughs> the miniature <laughs> ones, but not the full. Size. Snickers and M&Ms and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But you went ahead and went with the Nestle Crunch instead of the Crackle. So you, you got the good candy. Got the good candy. That's right. Come on out to Spring Lake Park 4 to 7 this Saturday. Uh, the big community-wide trunk or treat. Thanks to Eddie Alves and, and all of your staff at the Parks and Rec Department here. Mm -hmm. Because it's a big event. Well, not just this, but also everything else that you did. Movies in the park. Fall festival, we did, you know, of course, we did the yard sale and everything. And that's all, you know, in October is our busiest, one of our busiest months. Now, you know, yeah, you did the uh, electronics recycling. Yes, sir. Um, I wanted to ask a question because I've been hit up about, I miss that day, what do I do? If somebody has some electronics to recycle or, or move on, is there something they could do here in Texarkana? They can contact Unicor, which that's who brought out the, uh, I guess, trailer that we put everything in, and uh, they can tell you what they can bring, in, what you can bring in, and, and where to do that at. Okay, because I know out at the prison they have some program where they do like some computers. Yeah, that's, you that's know, Unicor. I mean, that's you know, that's computers, but I don't, I didn't know about like smart TVs or what have you. Yeah, it, you have to contact Unicor because they're the, all the ones that... I said, I'm going to see them at the end of this week, I'll ask. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best I can, I can think of right there is just contact Unicor and ask them where to take it. Well, it's going to be a real nice weekend for Halloween. Any safety tips that we want to give from the police department? Well, I think the, the best safety trip... trip. Good morning. <laughs> Let me start over, take two. Uh... <laughs> The best safety tip, obviously, is to come out to the trunk or treat. Uh, you'll be able to get candy from 30 different people. You know, stay in your car. You don't have to worry about anything you know, like that. Um, you know, but if you do decide to go out and go trunk or tr trick or treating, you know, make sure that you're you, you stay with your kids, especially if they're smaller. Make sure they're visible if they're they're walking around. And drivers be really really aware of what's going on because if if they're out trunk or treat or I have trunk treat. Trunk or treat and trick if, or treat. If they're out trick or treating, then then they're they're going to be everywhere, uh, you know. And you need to think about some people may be doing it on Saturday night, and then some people may be doing it on Sunday as well. That's so right. both those nights be really really careful if you're driving through neighborhoods. That's right. And, and we've got a list at TexarkanaFYI.com of of a lot of the churches that'll be having trunk or treats on Sunday, also. So try to have a really good time this weekend. Be really safe. Uh, the weather, I think it's going to be up to, what, 70? Yeah, Maybe nice. tomorrow with a little nice. bit of sun. It's going to be a little less wind. A lot right. less wind. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's hope. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, man. Sean, Thank you. Eddie, we no appreciate problem. everything y'all do for us.